so next program we will be just checking out with reassigning of strings and deleting a strings and uh, what are the string operators we have we'll just discuss them okay so uh, coming back to your reassigning of strings so updating the content of the string is uh, easy okay like uh, assigning it to a new string so what happens is the string object does not support item assignment hmm? uh, so it can be replaced with a new string since its content cannot be partially replaced and uh, we shall see an example for it now okay i'll just write a code for it i'll just take up a new python file string assign okay python file okay now what i'll do i'll just say str str is equals to hello okay hello next what i'll do i'll do it as str then the zeroth element zeroth element is nothing but capital okay i'll give it as a small initial okay then what i'll be doing i'll just replace it okay zero and then i'll give it as capital now when i print it print str and then here i'll use on most print statement print str okay when i run it just see there what happens item assignment by yes so you got an error there so for in example in this particular example str can be assigned completely to a new content as specified in the we will see how it can be assigned hmm? we cannot assign index to index right we can assign the whole of the element getting the string can be assigned completely to a new content but partially or some uh, like by taking up an index we cannot assign it so that was uh, what i was trying to tell you guys okay now what if i try to assign it something like this i'll just say comment hmm? and then what i'll try i'll do it okay i'll remove this itself okay so let me not remove it what i'll do is i'll just say it as your okay i'll just say str as equals to hmm, hello right okay so will it run it will run so what i'm doing here i'm assigning the whole of the content of str to this getting so this is how you uh I mean, reassign a strings. So, is it possible for me to delete a string? Yes, whole of a string can be deleted, but not any sort of index can be deleted. So, let us try that particular example. Now, we already have written a program, right? So, what I'll do here is I'll just try to delete a certain element. So, delete, delete. What I'll do, I'll give it as str. In the bracket i'll try to delete a zeroth element or first element will that help me out will that oh, and print will that <coughs> just check str object does not support item deletion right what if i give it as sorry i'll just take it in the, another statement that's it i'll give it as delete str delete str right i'll just run it and i print it as well print str okay i'll just run this particular program now okay i'll just remove this So I'll try to print it. 
str object does not support item deletion this i'll just uh, okay it is taking got stuck i'll just remove this i'll just try to print it around see the class string yes i'll remove all this stuff so that it is easy for you to uh, check out so i'll just run it class string uh, delete add it to the str1 delete str1 and then 1 run name error see that str1 is not defined right we don't have a previous string clear so this is how you delete a string clear now coming back to your string operators so what do you mean by a string operator so for what purpose do we use your string operators so any a sort of idea you will have like why do you use a string operator is there any usefulness or will do we use any uh, uh, <clears throat> what do i say operators yes they those are very helpful in fact right yes or no your operators are very helpful for us they help us to uh, perform many of the operations so just check out over there uh, so what are the different types of your string operators we have your plus that is nothing but which is being used for your concatenation purpose so <clears throat> it is said that it is known as a plus is known as your concatenation operator and it is being used to join the strings given either side of the operator for example if i want to join i have a two strings that is string one is containing your uh, kaylee uh, and the string two is containing your <coughs> rls so string one plus string two i'll just combine both of them and then what i'll do uh, that is string one plus string two is gonna give me a oh that i mean uh, will be combined or concatenated together with the help of your plus operator now coming back to your next one that is your star so it is uh, we, we already know that it is also called as a repetition operator so it concatenates the multiple copies of the same string okay if you want to concatenate a multiple copies of a same string we are going to use this star operator and when it comes to your square brackets okay we also know that your square brackets are called as your slice operator right those are called as your slice operator so it is so basically for what purpose do we use your slice operator so in order to access your substrings of a particular string we use them right and then if we enclose the colon with the help of your brackets so what is your is it gonna do it is nothing but your range slice operator so we have seen in the example uh, above i mean previously in the example which we discussed that was your range slice operator where we mentioned from this particular range to that particular range we want the elements to be given up so what it is going to do it is used to access the characters from the specific range i would say clear <clears throat> now coming back to your next thing that is in operator which is nothing but your membership operator so it is going to return if a particular string substring is present in a specified string and then when i say not in uh, that is <clears throat> it is also a membership operator and it was gonna do exactly of your in operator hmm? it is gonna return true if a particular string is not present in a specified ring so it is just like your not equal to right we use not equal to and equal to equal to it is same of that kind and then we have your r bar r so it's used to specify a raw string so raw strings are used in a cases where we need to print the actual meaning of the escape characters and then we have your uh, percentage so which is used to perform uh, which is also called as your which is used for your string formatting 
so basically it makes use of your format specifiers which we already use in your c programming like for example your percentage d and percentage f so these all are nothing but your format specifier okay which will map to their values in the python so that was about your string operators so we shall see few more concepts in our next video